to meeting Mr. Jimmy Amu, a.k.a. DJ Jimmy Jat, in our Lagos branch. Um, we had a conversation and he told me that he was recently diagnosed with chronic kidney disease and has started dialysis. And he was desirous of a kidney transplant and was prepping to go to the U.S. to have his transplant done. That's where most of his family members are. But as a medical doctor, I had a conversation with him. You know, I just wanted to give him more options, more choices, and then he decides on what he needed to do. We at Zeni Medical and Kidney Center have been doing transplant for over seven years now, and we've been existent for almost 12 years. So by the time I had had that conversation with him and explained to him how thorough we are with regards to psychological evaluation of the donor and the recipient, the legal clearance of the donor and the recipient, the medical clearance of the donor and the recipient, the surgical clearance of the donor recipient decided that he was going to do his kidney transplant with us. Thank you for the life that you gave to us. Thank you for your will to guide us. Thank you for your word to direct us. Oh, without a doubt, try the God for us. In the morning time, you are the dawn. In the evening time, from us to dawn, we saw you to cuss. You are the dawn. So I think in terms of how the process was managed, I, I was blown out, you know. It was more seamless than I thought it was going to be. It went well, very well. I mean, you know, and I'm recovering steadily. Daily. Of course, I mean, first thing you worry about is being alive. Yes. And when there's life, there's, you know, there's always, we'll always be working well. True, you true. Know, but not to say it won't affect certain, certain things have to be adjusted. And then, for me, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy that you know I have the second chance of life. You know that's possibly the major important thing to me. You know, um, what will happen thereafter? I think God will guide us. I want to be the face of the survival of the kidney disease. I didn't want to be a victim, so I've been through it, and from now on, I'll be I'll be very open to talk to people generally on any platform. You know, to so let them know. What is that? Okay, so it's been almost two months post transplant, and life is getting back to usual. <laughs> you know, I'm excited. Um, my recovery rate has been wonderful. I'm really amazed. I'll probably say I've been lucky to have discovered Zenit. I think I'm a spokesperson for Zenit. To be honest, <laughs> I'm really impressed with what I got there. I submitted my whole life, and they took care of it. I feel good. Um, I mean, that's, I think I'll just tell you one experience. Um, I came from the U.S. thinking I'm taking a risk. The, the wait period for me in the, in the U.S. was going to be very lengthy, you know, so I felt like I wasn't ready to wait that long. And then I came to Nigeria. And one of the two batches that were before me in terms of the, you know, the transplant or the surgery, so I, said, I saw some people that came from the U.S., and that just convinced me that maybe I made the right move because these were people that were citizens of America and they came all the way from the US. And when they were leaving, they told me, look, a lot more people were going to be coming from the US because they knew a lot of people going through this thing and they've just been on the wait list like forever. A legend, a living legend like DJ Jimmy Jat had faith in his system. And um, we are glad that that system did not fail him.